So today's gonna be a pretty fun day. We're back at the farm and I got a whole bunch of stuff I wanna do. I wanna go look for mushrooms this morning. The other thing today too, we're gonna shoot the 30 odd six today. The gun that we found, I say found, it's been in storage for so long and I got it as a gift when I was in, I don't know, end of high school, junior year, senior year. My grandfather gave it to me. It's a gun he just didn't want anymore, but I haven't shot it maybe twice and I took one deer with it. So we're gonna shoot it and see where it's sitting at 100 yards and then just kind of get it dialed in and see what this gun's about. I haven't shot a 30 odd six in years. So today is gonna be a hodgepodge, a mixture of all these different things we're gonna get doing. We're gonna be doing some cleanup, we're gonna do some farm stuff, maybe take down some trees that we did over at the pond that we I talked about in a previous video. And um, it's just gonna be kind of a lot of different stuff going on. There's no particular theme to this one. There's not gonna be any rhyme or reason. You're just gonna see stuff happen and it's gonna be fun. So let's get to the video. We drove up on a group of deer just laying there. They ran down. <laughs> Let's go find some mushrooms. end up getting some shooting in. We're gonna shoot the 30 odd six at 100 yards and kind of see where we're sitting with this gun that we haven't shot in years. I think I'm gonna throw three shots down. I'm gonna put a target down there, the circle target. We're gonna go for the center, throw three shots down and then just see where we're sitting after. So we got the targets out. We're gonna get the gun set up here. We got Remington core locks. I've never used anything else other than these. And these are the same ammo I've had since I <laughs> first got this gun. It's a Ruger 30 odd six. Not much I know about it other than it's Ruger 30 odd six with a pro staff scope on it, Nikon pro staff scope. So we just wanna see where it's sitting. That's all we wanna do. We're gonna go for the left target. Get some earplugs on. All right. So throw a first shot down. Locked in, safety's on. Safety's off. I have no idea where that hit. Low into the right. So we're gonna throw another shot down because that one felt clean, but we'll just throw another shot down and see where, if we're still sitting in the same spot. Keeping it tight in the shoulder. All right, firing. Wasn't a bad shot. I mean, we're right below. We're right where we want to be. That's how we're going to take three. If you guys don't know, 30 out six got a little bit of a kick to it. <laughs> it's a good kick, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it. All right, we're right on the money. Here we go. Firing. Son of a gun, that first shot, I must have thrown it. Because I, I mean, that one felt so clean. Everything was right. That right there was just three shots, 30 out six. And I tell you what, smooth. A little bit of a kick to it. It's heavy on the shoulder, but what do you expect? It's, it's a higher caliber. These core locks are great. They're supposed to be the mushroom bullet penetrates, you know, the deer and mushrooms out. Remington core lock, deadliest mushrooms in the uh, woods. That's, it. That's pretty funny. But just so you guys can see what they look like, this is what the shells look like. It's a big caliber, big bullet coming out, and you can see the tip, see where it mushrooms. Let's actually throw this last one down. Then we'll free and clear it and shoot the second one for three shots. Or, I got a better idea. Instead of just shooting this last one like it is, we're gonna put in two more shots. We got three shots in there. I'm gonna shoot the right target for center. And if I need to, I will come up into the right. We'll throw one shot. Actually, no, I'm gonna come up one, 
shoot the right target, but I want to come up one click, one click to the right. That's all I want to do. Okay. Here we go. Safety's on. Okay. Let's get settled into where our shot is. All right. All right, we're settled. Safety's coming off. We're on the bullseye. Exhale. And squeeze. Here we go. That felt clean. I see where it hit. It felt clean though. We're gonna do the same thing for two more shots. So I'm trying to go through my process too. Every time I do this, there's a process that goes into it. I settle in, make sure I'm tight in the shoulder. I see my shot. And then I squeeze on the extra tail. Don't pull it. Squeeze. All right, let's load the second one in. Locked in, safety's on. We're gonna get settled in. Consider our target. All right, we're right on the money. Let's fire. Safety's off. We're locked in. That one's all me. I wasn't properly settled. I should've took a little bit longer to take that shot. But that's why we do this. This is why we practice. Not every shot's perfect, but we try to make them as perfect as we can. It's practice and practice and practice and practice. And I don't even practice that much, but I need to. But just doing stuff like this is how you get better. All right, last round. I don't want to adjust the sights though, because it is doing well. That one was me, that was my shot, but the sights are good. This gun is on, I think it is. We'll throw this last one in, but I'm pretty sure this gun's on. Locked in, safety on. Let's consider our target. Safety's off. We're dead nuts, Billy. Let's go. We are right on the money. Right on the money. -wee. That's what we like to see right there. The Remington Ruger 30 odd six that we I got from my grandfather and hadn't shot it in years. And in fact, we forgot we had it because it was just stored away. But it's good to know the sights are on dead center, 100 yards. This was set, shot at 100 yards on bags and uh, feeling really good with it. That was pretty good. I think now what we do is break out the shotgun and pattern in our uh, turkey gun for 20 yards, 30 yards too. 20 and 30, 20. We'll start, we'll see where we're at. Let's just pattern our turkey gun in. Our target is sitting at exactly 21 yards. We're gonna do a splatter shot on 21 yards. I'm gonna get my shotgun out. It's a 20 gauge with a choke on the front of it. See that? Uh, that's it right there. Got the choke on the front, my turkey choke. And then I'm gonna load up for what I shoot for turkey season are these Federal Tungstens, TSSs. They're 18 grains, the 20 gauges, and they are, they pack a little bit of a punch. Let's grab the old shoddy gunny. We're locked and loaded. All right, free and clear. Fire in the hole. Let's see where we're sitting with this. I think that's a dead turkey right there. I think that's a dead turkey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely a dead turkey. <laughs> Oh, that felt great. I'm so ready for turkey season. Oh, I don't even know if I want to shoot a second one, but we should move it back to 30 and then we'll get it again. Let me check that distance actually before we start firing. We're at 35 yards. That's fine, 35 yards, that's good. We could have a turkey at 35 yards. We need to be able to take that shot. That's why we got tungstens. Make sure we put them down. Ideally, we want to get them within 10 to 15 yards. That would be fantastic. Five yards, ID, that would be the best, but if we can't, this is how we practice. Here we go, last one. Safety's on. We're locked and loaded. Safety's off. Woo! 
<laughs> that felt good. Woo! Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. I think we tore it to shreds. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here is, I was a little off. Obviously, I hit up in the left, in that area down here, on this, le on this left side over here, down in here. If that was just the head, I would have prob I would have missed, actually, if that were the head. I don't plan on taking a turkey at 30 yards anyway, so we should be good. The tungstens have a little bit of a kick to them. They got a little bit of a kick. It's a... Even for the 20 gauge, that, it's got a little bit of a punch in it. Well, that was fun. We got to shoot the shotgun. We got to shoot the 30 odd six. We got everything patterned in. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like ready. That felt good. <clears throat> Time for some lunch. Some Caesar dressing, some soy sauce. Just based off that, what do you think I'm having? If you guessed salad and sushi, you'd be correct. Sushi. Oh, last night's sushi, yes, leftovers. And then a Caesar Xiao Yan. So we're gonna start with some really good sushi. Let's say grace first. It's about 1.30 right now. The wife is running her 14 miles per her training for her marathon coming up. This is a rest day for me. If you've been following along in the um, Southern Gains first training for first triathlon series, you know, we're staying after it, posting it every day because we want to keep track of the progress and it keeps me accountable. Because if I don't record it and or post it, I don't stay accountable to me doing it. <laughs> it's just a beautiful day here at the farm and I did not want to miss it staying inside or doing other things. We had freezing temperatures last night where it was like in the 20s. But right now, it's a comfortable 60-something. <laughs> it's just really nice out today, so I wanted to take advantage of it, shoot some guns. I went mushroom hunting, but I didn't find any, so part two will still be coming. Just not yet. Probably won't happen until Easter weekend. I'm just going to have some lunch and then continue on doing stuff here at the farm. Let's dig in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, buddy. All right, all right. Calm down. It's all right, buddy. This is not the day you thought you were going to have, was it? I know, I know. How did you get stuck in there? Huh? I know you're scared right now, but how did you do that? Golly. Well, I'm back home now. What a crazy, crazy end to the day. Uh, TWRA end up coming out and having to put down the deer because we couldn't get the deer free. That's it for this one. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.